Good morning, Richard Eckley here. Happy, oh, it looks good. <laughs> Happy Thursday morning to you. Hope you have a good day today. It's not looking bad here in Swansea. Today's uh, blue sky today, actually. It's quite nice. So we're on a Thursday. We're on a mindset Thursday on your four keys to a healthier, happier you. And uh, the heading today is planes, trains, and automobiles. You think, oh, what's all this about them? And basically, all these, uh, these planes, trains, automobiles, everything, was basically once just someone's idea, one person's idea back in history. They thought about something, then slowly they developed it, invested in it, developed it as an idea, ran it past some other people, expanded it, started to make it into a business, and then built it. And then all these years later, millions of us, we can't live our lives without them, with planes, with cars, with trains, with uh, personal computers. There's all these things that happen we got nowadays but originally, they were just one person's single idea. And they thought, right, what can I do with this? And they sort of just developed it, looked into it, researched it, and expanded it. And that's, have you got an idea that you could possibly make yourself? You don't, we don't, we, none of us know, but these ideas we have in our minds, what they could do for the future generations to come. Because, say, the person who first invented the steam engine, he didn't have a clue what he was going to, how he was going to change the whole entire world. Again, with the Wright brothers, with the aeroplanes, it was like a, a novel idea just to see if we can do it. It's again changed the entire world. Personal computers again, the, the internet is like knock-on effects. And this one single idea, it's, it's the, the core to start anything off. And we've all got these different ideas. We all think about different things. We all have different ideas. But quite often we don't follow up on them. We just think, oh yeah, that's... Oh, well, I'd like to do that one day, but oh, no, I just, that'll never come to anything. And that is such a shame, because if we have one idea, it could not only change our life, it could change millions of people's lives in the future. If this idea took on, was worthwhile doing and going. Some ideas obviously aren't going to be any use at all. But one single idea could make a t in total difference in, in not only your life, but in the life of millions of other people. So it's always worth, if you get some ideas, write them down. Just get a piece of paper or a diary and just put a little notes down of little ideas you've had. And then slowly just start to research a bit and look into it and develop it. And then in time, that could make such a huge difference to people's lives. So I said before, it's it's very sad, sad state of affairs, but all the cures to all our social problems, disease problems, mental problems... They're in all the graveyards around the world because people just were afraid to actually follow through on an idea. They had an idea. They were going to get round to it one day. And then they just, oh, well, perhaps they won't. And then they didn't do it and they took it to their grave with them. And that could have solved so many issues, so many problems. But we don't just step out of our comfort zone and just follow through on it. So if you get an idea, honestly, just, I said, first of all, just write it down because quite often we get an idea and we just don't think about, oh, it just goes again. We don't sort of like follow up with it. So write it down. If you get an idea, just and it sometimes it doesn't have to be a brand new idea. It could be enhancing an existing uh, product or service already. So it's like sort of like the Windows come on with the computers, the Macs. They were sort of like just developing it and expanding it. And like with the internet now, it's like expanding it. It's all step by step as it improves. It's like the mouse. You have the mouse with the computer first of all, which is wired. Then they thought, oh, let's make it wireless. So it's wireless. Now they've got technology where you can do it actually with your eyes. You've got your eyeglasses on. You can do it with your with your with your mind and your eyes. And they're developing this whole new system again. But it's all knock-on effect. It's all just improving the step by step by step. So your idea doesn't have to be something totally brand new, like developing a car. It could just be an enhancement of a previous idea, and that could just improve again. And again, that could change change your life in the future and change millions of other people's lives in the future. So that's just one thing I'd say today. If you had, if you get some ideas, if you get time, it's, it's all worthwhile just to sit down. Some, again, good old sit down with a cup of coffee or sit down whatever you're drinking, and just make a list of th of different ideas. Just spend a little time. Just inside your own mind, if you like, thinking about what, what what things would you like to do? What things come to mind? First of all, because sometimes we don't stop and think about things. We just sort of carry on and react to all the circumstances that are happening to us. But we don't actually stop to think about, right, what would I like to do? What what could I do? And just think some ideas of just, yes, what you could develop and how you can move things forward. And as I said before, just one idea could totally change your life. If you follow through on it, it's one good idea to, to have this idea and to think about it. Write it down. And then do a bit of research and just see, yeah, where could this go? What could you do? Perhaps this one idea could, could lead to other ideas in the future, which you could develop in time to come. This one little thought today is, is on mindset. It's just, yeah, taking that time, that one idea. So look, through history, everyone literally just started. No matter what we have today, it could be the steering wheel, clocks, clothes. It was all one person's idea at one time. And then that was developed and developed and grew into a business. And then it's, hey, it's changed our entire life. So it's just, yeah. You can't, can't imagine 
we all are internet connected nowadays. Everyone sort of works with each other. So you, you couldn't make your own clock or you couldn't make your own anything really. You couldn't make, you're making your own jumper, you've got to work every day, or making your own shirt, or putting making your own button, even trying to make a button to do it. Well, that was someone's idea. Someone designed that idea, that, that button there. Someone actually designed it, thought about it, planned it out, and then there's, there's only shirts. So, yeah, someone I don't know. But, yeah, and it's like that. But it's those sort of ideas can just expand into so many different areas and solve different problems and give us solutions to problems in the future as well. So, my little thought today is on using your mindset as just getting the ideas flowing and just write them down as you come along and then just research into them and look at what you can develop that way because you can change, say, your life and the future lives of many other people in the future. There we are. Have a good day today, wherever you are. All the best for now. Ta-ha.